Guten Tag. If I don't get this out now, it's not gonna come out. And if I don't start my idea, I'll probably forget my idea. Today I'm going to be doing all of the things that I do for fun when I'm sad or bored. I figured what better day. What, what? Duncan is looking at me like, can you not? Maybe I can't function because I haven't had caffeine. Here's the idea that I had. It's probably not as mind-blowing as it is inside of my head. I should have brushed my hair. Why did I not? Oh well, oh well. We're gonna think of this like it's a sleepover that me and you just had and we woke up and we haven't gotten ready yet. These ideas of things that would be so fun and I just don't do them because for some reason I feel like when I'm alone I don't know doing things alone takes a little bit more courage than it does when you have someone with you I just haven't been the best at it. Want to know what I have been the best at though? Sitting and feeling sorry for myself Watching other people's vlogs and they're having so much fun with their friends They go to parties they get invited to events going to festivals and all of those things sound like they would be fun like one a year. But that's just not my life. But I do have ideas on things that would make my life more fun. Today we're just going to have the most fun day we can possibly have. I'm going to do as many of the little things that I've been wanting to do that I haven't done. Just out of laziness, fear of going by myself. Did I already say laziness? Cute as my screensaver. I've gotten into a routine of taking Duncan to the dog park at night, and I thought I could make friends at the dog park. It isn't going very well. Everyone is in clicks. It's like high school at the dog park. I walk up with the excuse that I'm just supervising my dog, like obviously. If he attacks, which I don't know why he would do that. It's just a good excuse, okay? It's a good excuse to approach. They never really talk back to me. I don't know if I come off as scary or just not likable. Uh. I've been going at night because there's more people, more opportunities to make friends. It also Where's Duncan out at the end of the day? I'm slowly learning that the dog park might not be my place to make friends. Afterwards, I go on little drives. I just put the windows down and I listen to music and it has been so therapeutic for me. I took this picture last night on my drive and I just felt like sharing that with you. Here's the list of things. Yesterday, I did something really exciting. I went and got a guitar. We're gonna strum a few notes on our guitar. I really wanna go to a park and read. I wanna bring a blanket, find a tree and sit under it, read a book, Alice in Wonderland. But it has to be a park that I've never been to. I also figured we could go to a cute little outdoor lunch spot because the weather looks very good today. And I have stuff to make my own dinner here at home. I feel like we're just gonna take ourselves on a little date today. I thought my list was longer, I'm gonna be honest, but it's not that long. Well, let's get to it. Yesterday was a really bad day for this finger. One of the medicines I have to give Snickers, I have to like put it on my finger and scrape it on the roof of her mouth. And her tooth like ripped open my finger. And then earlier in the day, I was melting chocolate. I want to put chocolate on these and have them as a little snack. I have them in the freezer. I cut them up this morning. Went to grab the bowl out of the microwave and I completely burnt like the whole tip of my finger. It's like rock hard. She's been through a lot. How are we doing? Bobby is chilling. Are you ready to have a fun day with me? You're the only person I have to come with me, so you don't really have a choice. Snickers hangs out in the sun. Harlow is hiding because that's what Harlow does. It's 10 17. We're gonna try and be ready by 11, which is giving myself a lot of time. It should not take me till 11 to get dressed. Two hours later. We're gonna keep it 100. Um, it is now like 12 30. I know what you're probably thinking is I came upstairs and sat on my butt for about an hour and a half. Untrue. I cleaned my closet, got dressed, and we'll talk about this outfit in a second. When I tell you that I've been on the phone with Ashley Home Furniture for the past hour and a half, I mean it. But donk donks All the stuff that I have on is from the new Sugar Rush collection coming out with Beth Bunny. I think by the time you guys see this, it'll already be out. And hopefully it's not sold out by then. These are the Legacy leggings in the rainbow swirl print. And this is the snack jacket, which is the best thing that's ever been created. This is the Monarch Sports Bra in peach rings. It shows some of the cute design that the bra has. I was talking to my sister on the phone for a minute. She said, is it really a date with yourself or is it a date with your dog? I said both. I need to pack a little bag so I have all of the necessities. But which purse? 
This one's cute. I got it from ASOS. It has stitch on it. It's not massive, but it's not super small. It'll fit my camera and my headphones. Some socks so we don't have nasty feet. It's so hot outside, but I'm just gonna have to conquer my fear of wearing a sports bra in public when I'm at the park. Chapstick, headphones, a backup camera battery, phone charger. I have a water bottle that perfectly matches this outfit. The book that I'm currently reading. The chosen place for lunch is called Hunter's Station. I googled dog friendly places to eat lunch and this is one of the ones that came up. So we're going. I get really stressed out when it comes to picking food places because there's so many options. I grew up having three food options. So when I'm presented with 15, 20, 500, I can never really pick one. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. I just arrived at the park. I brought this moving furniture blanket. It's so hot outside. I also have my giant camera. I really hope people aren't gonna judge me. <gasps> Mama Kelly! Mom, look who's here! Here we are. I feel like this is a cute spot. How do you feel about it, Duncan? It's just really hot. I just made eye contact and smiled at somebody. That's friendly. No, Duncan. Why would you do that? How is that being friendly? Book reading playlist is what I'm listening to on Spotify. I've never been more of a main character than I am right now. You look so cute. Oh, thank you. Are you like, vlogging or something? I do vlog, yeah. Hi! Bye. Hi! Thank you for saying hi! Yeah. Nice to meet you! We're just gonna hang out for a while. Are you hot? I brought some water if you want some. Your dog is so cute! Thank you! Thank you I love you! Should we take a second and talk about life? You're breathing on them. They can smell your breath, you nasty. I just gotta stop being afraid to spend time with myself. The only thing in life that's guaranteed is me. I will always be there for myself. I wrote a text message the other day. I wanna find it. I feel like it really explained the way I've been feeling. I'm happy I have things to do when I'm sad. Paint, go to the dog park, play guitar, film, sing, read, etc. Because it helps me not to think about life for a minute. I can't explain to you how excited I am for the day I wake up and don't feel that heavy pit of sadness and how excited I am for the day, the nagging voice in my head telling me how much of a failure I am every day goes silent. Can't wait for the day where I wake up and realize I'm living the life I fought so hard for. I wake up excited for the day, surrounded by people I love the most, in a flourishing career full of fun trips and opportunities, a clear mind and a healthy heart. No eating disorder, less lazy habits, better priorities, less fear of the world. Someone who isn't afraid to go into a store or take herself out on an adventure. Someone who loves time with themselves but also cherishes the time spent with the people she loves. A life that isn't easily shattered by any one bad thing because it's constantly being supported by a million good things. A girl who isn't angry at the world anymore, who doesn't scream at the cars, who won't let her switch lanes on the highway. My road rage is really bad. A girl who is patient and who is just happy for each day. That's what I'm fighting for and working towards. Even if I'm not perfect every day, I'm a little bit closer. That makes tomorrow worth waking up to. I know God has something beautiful in store for me. I just have to keep showing up to get it. I feel like that really explains how I've been been feeling about life. I know from the outside looking in, it may seem like I go in circles a lot. I honestly don't think that since I graduated high school, I've been happy. I've felt guilty about that for a long time because I should be happy. I have so many things to be grateful for. For some reason, I'm still not excited to wake up in the morning. I felt guilty for that for a long time because I know so many people would love to be in my position. At the end of the day, money doesn't bring happiness. Having a certain amount of followers doesn't make you happy. You have to find ways to make life more enjoyable and you have to find 
find ways. Duncan, okay. It takes effort. I've been reading the book Atomic Habits. I don't have the book in front of me, so I can't read it to you. I think the example that they used in the book was when someone's trying to quit smoking and someone offers them a cigarette, the first person responds with, I'm trying to quit. Meaning that they still see themselves as a smoker. They're just trying not to do it. And the second person responds, no, thank you. I don't smoke. Even though they have always been a smoker, they just have decided that they're no longer going to view themselves or identify as a smoker. That's the mindset I've been trying to have. Obviously not with smoking, but viewing myself as the person that I want to be and stop holding myself back because of the person that I've been for the past few years. I can see myself as a productive person. I can see myself as a clean person. In a situation where I may want to binge, I can ask myself, like, what would a healthy person do? I can be a healthy person. I don't have to get to a certain stage to be able to identify as those things. I just have to do it and be that person. And obviously that's easier said than done. Are you thirsty? Does anyone else let their dog drink from their hands? I was gonna drink it, but he comes first, always and forever. Refreshing, huh? I know you're the star, but you gotta share the spotlight, okay? I'm gonna be honest, most days, the most I do is take Duncan to the dog park. I'm trying to change that. I moved away from my hometown for the first time last year, and this is the second city that I'm living in. As proud as I am for making that step and moving to Florida, I didn't see a lot of the city. I didn't go out much. I would go to the beach and stuff, but I was just afraid a lot. This year here in Nashville, I really don't wanna be like that. I wanna get outside and learn little places. I might not do anything extravagant. I know a lot of people in Nashville party a lot. It's never really been my scene. Here, I have an idea. If I go like this. Never really been my scene, but who knows? I'm hoping to make friends. I really feel like life is all about finding little things that you can do that make you happy. Obviously, what makes me happy is probably different than what makes you happy. Right now, sitting at this park, I'm feeling pretty good. Duncan is thriving. You're breathing right into the camera. That's all they're gonna hear. That's kind of what today is all about. Focusing on me, moi, me. I'm just gonna read, cause I'm studious. I dropped out of college, so I need to try and get my knowledge back up with the book. Who would have thought today would end up with my dog and me on a swing? I don't know if I ever thought that me and you would be sharing a swing. How do I stop it? It's so fun, right, Duncan? You did so good. I was sweating so bad. I don't know why I didn't just like suck it up and take my jacket off. I just, you never know when a titty's gonna pop out. For a titty to pop out in public and me to end up in jail. Those are just things my anxiety makes me think about. But would you rate your experience at the park? One out of 10. I could honestly use something refreshing. Dutch bros, perhaps? What makes Samantha happy? Dutch bros make Samantha happy. That's where we're going. There's no line, meaning this is gonna happen quickly. I'm gonna ask her what her favorite rebel is. Hi, my name's Sam. What's your favorite thing to drink here? What's your favorite Rebel? What if she notices that I'm filming? I will smack my head into my steering wheel so hard if she notices. I'll just cry and then drive away really fast. I love your car. Thank you. Oh, Last so time beautiful. I was here, I crashed it. You yes. see? I did that right on the thing. And I think I scared the shit out of the person that was working. I felt so bad. No, because someone told me that a Jeep like... <laughs> that was me, yeah. Okay, what can I get um, for what's you? What's your favorite Rebel? Are you one of those people that yeah. every time you roll around you ask? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, actually, I usually get too scared. What That's if you don't it. like it? I don't care. It's my fault. Where do you get your nails done? Okay, do you know where Urban Air is? No, I just from around here. here. I will put you on. This one girl, I go to Judy. Okay. Okay, get your phone out. Okay. Oh, shit! The panic when she asks me to use my phone. She asked me to use my phone, of all things. Dutch Brojito. Brojito? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Stuck waiting in the line until they move. A Dutch Mojito. But I think she said it was a Brojito. Or I just look like an idiot saying Brojito. She probably thought I was being funny. Because it says Mojito on the top of this. Treat yourself. Since Duncan has been the best sport and has been following me around all day, not complaining or anything, on my way home I decided that he deserves at least 30 minutes at the dog park. It's your favorite place in the whole world.
me the cutest card. I wish I could tell you guys how much I love this woman. I've been really having a hard time just with life. Like I already kind of talked to you guys about it. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with my life and what makes me happy and really just finding myself. I've said it before, but I felt for years that, like it was just going to come to me and I wasn't going to have to put any effort in. Everyone deserves a mom like Mama Kelly. Hey, sweetie. I just wanted to let you know how much I love you and how proud I am of the woman you have become. I cherish our time together so much. The memories we have made are what I draw from when I'm alone and sad. And I want you to know I appreciate you for sharing your life with me to the year ahead. And it's really hard to be away from her, but sometimes you just gotta do what's best for you, you know? And it may be hard to understand why being away from somebody I love so much is what's best for me. And it's not that I need to be away from her. If she was here, that would be great. Sometimes you have to leave home and find yourself. And obviously I haven't done that as fast as most people probably do, but I'm on my own journey, I'm on my own path. I just wish she could be with me on it, you know? To the fridge she goes. On a different note, we do need to make some dinner. That's right, we're about to have a cooking show. I saw this TikTok of a girl making Cajun pasta. Ladies, do you wanna be a wife? If you answered yes, this is how you do it. This is terrifying. I don't know if I've ever touched a sausage like this before, but you need a sausage. It also says you need shrimp, but I don't have any. I know for sure you need paprika, chili powder, ponies. Pretty sure this is very popular. Sun-dried tomatoes, roasted red peppers, flour, bow tie pasta, Parmesan cheese. I think that's everything. I'm just gonna watch the TikTok and make it as I go. So if I forget something, I'll let you know. And I guarantee you it will get a ring on your finger. She said to start off by boiling our pasta. I've actually never had a stove that boils water faster than this one. We gotta let that boil. What's next, lady? This recipe calls for onions. I cannot have them. That is one of the foods that parosmia makes taste really bad, so I can't have onions, but I can't have garlic. It says to mince up three cloves of garlic, but I cheat and I buy the pre-minced stuff. One teaspoon is one clove of garlic. How many cloves did she say? Three cloves of garlic. Three cloves. Okay. I don't have any teaspoons. I don't have a single teaspoon in this whole house. I like to set things on top of other things when I cook for some reason. I'm just gonna do a heaping spoonful. And that's probably the same as three cloves of garlic, right? That just smells spicy. I don't like that. Let's just start with half of a sausage. You cut it in half. This feels violating. And now I'm just gonna cut it into pieces. The faster you cut something, the better of a chef you are. I wanna show off like I'm cool and try to go really fast just to fool you, but that is a guaranteed trip to the ER that I don't feel like taking today. I burnt my finger yesterday, not trying to cut it off today. This is a lot of sausage. On this pan over here, we're gonna start making, oh no, she's really boiling. Chill out, chill out. Wooden spoon trick. Chill out. What you're roaring for. This has to melt a half of a stick of butter. You can't see me, but this isn't about me. It's about the sausage. Put it in the pan. You also need a tablespoon of olive oil. I don't know how to measure that, so we're just gonna go like this. Whoop, tablespoon. I feel like you're supposed to measure with your heart anyways. If I set it right here, can we get a time lapse of the butter melting all the way? Is the stove not even? If I set it in the middle, shouldn't it stay in the middle? Is this the ghost that lives in my house speaking to us? That could have been bad. Put the sausage in. That's a lot of sausage. And cook. While I'm sitting here playing with these sausages, I think the word of the week is gonna be copious. Earlier today, I made a TikTok and I said the word copious. It just came out of my mouth without me even thinking about it. That was like the smartest thing I've said all week that I even used the word right. And so I Googled it. I, in fact, did use the word right. I just wanted to let you know that copious is the word of the week. Make sure you use it as much as you can. Find a way to use copious in a comment down below. Let's see how many different sentences you guys can come up with. I took all of the sausage and put it in this other pan that I just had sitting here. Chill the fuck out. You're too hot for your own good. You just have to cook it until it starts to get aromatic. Aromic is the word she used. Aromatic. This is the scary part. She said to put in some sun-dried tomatoes. How many though? And some roasted bell pepper. The biggest fork, apparently. <gasps> Why are they so big? I should not be cutting on these pans. That's probably good enough. A tablespoon of flour for thickness. 
Holy crap, that's a lot. One, did she say two cups? And then you're gonna throw in two cups of heavy cream. She said two cups. Two cups of Parmesan cheese. I really hope there's two cups of Parmesan cheese in here. One. The whole bag's good. I'm supposed to just never stop stirring, she said. You're gonna add three cups of Parmesan cheese. Three cups? Oh no. You're not gonna wanna stop stirring. Now you're gonna wanna season your sauce. We're doing some Tony's, some chili powder, some paprika. So she said to put the meat in, and then we're gonna put the noodles in. It's gonna be a lot for this tiny pan. Is this any good? I don't know. But at least I didn't order DoorDash. And there she is, my sausage Cajun pasta. I only have folding chairs for my island. I haven't found the perfect bar stools yet. So when I sit on my island, I'm very low. That's okay, it feels really intimate, and there's less space for me to drop food on my shirt. Poured a big glass of water. I just realized there's new episodes of The Circle, so that's what I'm gonna do while I eat. I have to let you guys know how it is. So let's just try the pasta with the sauce. Let's try a bow tie with a piece of sausage. This is really good. For dessert, we're gonna make the little bananas. They've been in the freezer all day, and we're gonna have little chocolate-covered banana bites for dessert. What a delicious meal for a great day. Sorry, Colleen Hoover, you're gonna be my little stand for today. I know this is only gonna interest a select few people. I feel like people might be curious. I know a lot of you guys ask questions about Snickers. I figured I would show you guys my nightly routine with her. I do this in the morning and at night. I also try and get her to eat throughout the day. It hasn't been the best. She has a vet appointment on Friday, so we'll see. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a 18 year old cat. Her name is Snickers, and she is in renal failure, which means her kidneys don't work anymore. I think it's the number one thing that kills cats. She's on a special veterinary diet, and I've had her on every kidney renal food. I guess it just doesn't taste very good, and she doesn't like any of it. The only food she likes or can tolerate is the Royal Canin Renal Support D, and it's always sold out because D stands for delectable. I think this is the same thing, but I had to get it from Europe and it cost me an arm and a leg so I hope she likes it they had it in a bunch of different flavors so tonight I'm trying beef for the first time I get these from Target they're like 50 cents I also have this this is the Royal Canin renal liquid I think this is what they would put in like a feeding tube I give this to her because she'll drink it and it's just extra calories she gets this renal K plus potassium gluconate it just says it supports renal health she also gets this phosphorus binder because since her kidneys aren't working phosphorus just builds up so this helps get rid of it I think every other day I have to give her 50 milliliters of subcutaneous fluids I just put it on the fridge right here obviously she doesn't love it I've definitely gotten better at it so it doesn't hurt her as much this is we're ready to go first I want to see if she'll eat this because if she does I'm gonna be so excited are you a beef lover do you like beef okay, sorry I'll give you space so we like beef. Remind me to buy the beef next time. How many beefs do I have? I've got 24 beefs and 12 fishes. This is my life, taking care of my cats and my dog. Honestly, I didn't even know this was a thing until Snickers got sick. I've been doing this since October now. I think maybe it can be educational because there's gotta be one of you guys out there that is in a similar situation, especially because this is the reason a lot of cats die. I know dogs can get sub-Q fluids, a lot of animals can. You're doing so good. She's being a very patient patient right now. You're the bravest girl I know. Believe it or not, that's not even the part she hates the most. This is the part she hates the most. You're supposed to mix this in with her food, but she doesn't eat it enough, so I just kind of mix it into this. Motherly duties are finished. We're making dessert. I'm covering these bananas in chocolate. This probably defeats the health benefit of a banana as well. But go ahead and ask me if I care. The answer may shock you. And there's definitely a more efficient way to do this. I just don't know what that is. I'm doing it my way. See if they're any good. Mm-hmm, that does taste like a chocolate-covered banana. Throw these in the freezer, and I have another snack for tomorrow. The thing about social media, there is no way you would ever know that I'm not wearing pants. Like, if I didn't tell you I wasn't wearing pants, you would never know I'm standing here with no pants on. We're gonna take our makeup off. I did briefly consider not taking my makeup off and not washing my face and doing my skincare because I'm tired, and I still haven't played my guitar. I'm committed to 30 minutes a day of my guitar, so I need to get my skincare done fast. Usually I use this to take off my makeup. It's the DHC. Sounds like THC. It's much better for you and for your eyelashes and definitely consider using an oil. Or that takes a lot of extra time and effort that I don't have. Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. Doo -doo. 
like that. This is the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Could you see my butt cheek? In my defense, I warned you that I wasn't wearing pants and you decided to stay. You knew there was a risk and you took it. I'm going in with the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. Why do facial products have such long names? I used to put toner on with a pad and then a bunch of you guys told me that's actually wrong and I'm supposed to just put it on with my hands. So that's what I do now. I don't know the difference it makes, but I listen to you because I trust you. Hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. My skin has just been so dry. I know you're not supposed to touch that to your face, but it's fine. When I wear makeup around here, it's been looking not good. So I really gotta make sure it gets moisturized. I know it sucks to hear, but your makeup will look better and last longer if you take care of your skin. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Don't forget your neck. Last step is eye cream. This is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Under Eye Cream. I don't even know why I own this. I hope it's good. I want fluffier eyebrows, so I've been using this GoLab Beauty Brow Thickening Oil. It's a girl on TikTok. She just makes it while she has a business. Is it doing anything? I don't know, but I like to think that it is. Gotta brush our teeth. I'm gonna put on this Laneige sleeping mask. My skin honestly is not thriving, but that's okay. I wanna learn how to play Mean by Taylor Swift on the guitar because that's the song that I used to sing all the time when I first started YouTube videos and people in my school thought it was hilarious and wanted to make fun of me for it. I would always sing that song. It feels nice to know that you didn't let people stop you from chasing your dreams and you went after it anyway. You looks like naps on a chalkboard calling me out when I'm wounded. Picking on a weaker man, but you can take me down. Just one single love, someday I'll be living in a big old city. And all you're ever gonna be is me. She had a lot on her mind and she didn't pay attention. She was going away too fast. So give me one more chance. I can play soundtracks for myself. Thanks for coming with me today. Donkey, are you ready for bed? We're gonna go to sleep now. I had a good day. Did you have a good day? I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Oh, sorry.